we are witnessing the emergence of a compact truck segment, albeit without full recognition. However, in a few years, with the benefit of hindsight, clarity will prevail. Currently, attention is focused on the Ford Maverick and other upcoming models, carrying high expectations. Subaru's upcoming small truck, all but confirmed by the Japanese company's CEO, is part of this narrative. Let's delve into what we know about the new $23,000 Subaru pickup truck, poised to potentially disrupt the entire auto industry. Subaru has long been in need of a pickup truck. While the company has a history in pickup truck manufacturing, notably with the fun-to-drive compact pickups of the 1980s and 2000s like the Millennium Baja and the older Brat, they've since shifted focus, leaving gaps in their lineup. The departure of Subaru Corporation's former president and CEO, Tomomi Nakamura, earlier this year, marked a significant transition. Atsushi Osaki, the company's board director, attributed the change to the conclusion of Subaru's five-year implementation period for its 2018 mid-term management vision. This vision aimed to address Subaru's sluggish progress in electrification, a critical aspect in today's automotive landscape. According to Automotive News, Mr. Osaki expressed Subaru's intention to navigate the electrification era with agility, emphasizing the implementation of various systems while prioritizing flexibility and expansion. This straightforward statement indicates the board's decision to appoint a new chairman aimed at accelerating Subaru's transformation into an established EV automaker. The plan involves electrifying the existing lineup by introducing hybrids and EVs, along with a higher number of all-new electric models than previously anticipated. Mr. Osaki revealed Subaru's ambition to expand its EV portfolio to eight models by 2028, the company is already constructing a dedicated EV plant in Japan, supplementing the current facility in Gunma Prefecture to achieve a combined capacity of 300,000 EVs annually. Additionally, Subaru is nearing a decision on another EV plant in the US, with the Lafayette, Indiana facility being the front runner. These initiatives are projected to produce up to 600,000 EVs by 2030, representing roughly half of the company's global output. This strategic shift brings us to the anticipated Subaru pickup truck, set to feature both electrified and conventional powertrains. An all-electric compact pickup truck aligns with current automotive trends, as no such offering exists in the market. Given the absence of small electric trucks among the currently available EV lineup, the first automaker to introduce such a model stands to benefit from the potential surge in bulk fleet operator orders anticipated in the future. Subaru is poised to capitalize on its partnership with Toyota by potentially sourcing powertrains from the Japanese automotive giant for its upcoming electric vehicle. Mr. Osaki hinted at such a possibility during one of his interviews, mentioning the long-standing collaboration with Toyota in the realm of battery electric vehicles. BEVs. However, Subaru has yet to confirm whether they will jointly manufacture BEVs in the US, as the company maintains a strict policy of non-disclosure regarding their in-development models. While awaiting further details on the powertrain for the revived Subaru Brat EV, it is anticipated that Subaru will need to cater to its traditional customer base. Therefore, integrating a conventional powertrain alongside an electric option seems probable. This approach not only helps maintain competitive pricing, aligning with models like the Maverick, but also ensures competitiveness in the traditional compact pickup truck segment. Given Subaru's likely aim to keep the Brat even smaller than the Maverick, the company will rely on its existing Subaru Global Platform architecture, which underpins the majority of its lineup. With limited powertrain options available, Subaru may opt for its signature duo of agile four-cylinder boxer engines, the 2.0-liter producing 152 horsepower and the 2.5-liter generating 182 horsepower, both commonly found in the current Crosstrek SUV. In typical Subaru fashion, the symmetrical all-wheel drive system is expected to be the sole available configuration. To address fuel efficiency concerns, Subaru may continue its trend of pairing most models with continuously variable transmissions, CVTs. 
However, enthusiasts may hope for an alternative such as a six-speed manual transmission, although Subaru recently discontinued this option for the Crosstrek. Prior to the introduction of all electric models, Subaru could leverage its partnership with Toyota to reintroduce hybrid options, a feature recently dropped from the Crosstrek range. However, the continuously evolving automotive landscape and the significant shift in the company's strategy suggest that hybrids will serve as a transitional phase towards full electrification, a goal Subaru anticipates achieving by the mid-2030s. A hybrid powertrain, potentially leveraging Toyota's fifth-generation hybrid technology, would position Subaru as a direct competitor to the Maverick Hybrid. Achieving fuel efficiency levels matching the Maverick Hybrid's impressive 40 miles per gallon combined has remained a challenge for car manufacturers thus far. Yet, the upcoming Subaru Brat holds promise in this regard. Toyota's next-generation hybrid system already achieves up to 56 miles per gallon combined, albeit in dedicated fuel-efficient models like the Prius. Considering even vehicles like the Corolla exceed 50 miles per gallon combined, it's reasonable to expect the fifth-generation Toyota hybrid system to surpass 40 miles per gallon combined in a small pickup truck, potentially outperforming the Maverick. The only uncertainty lies in Subaru's approach to hybridizing its lineup in the near future, while little is known about the potential design of the Subaru Brat. It's safe to assume a familiar aesthetic. Japanese automakers typically favor practicality over flashy designs. The forthcoming compact truck is likely to resemble recently revised models like the Crosstrek, Forester, and Outback. Subaru's consistent design language across its lineup suggests the Brat will seamlessly integrate into its family of vehicles, at least from the front. The absence of a Subaru pickup truck for nearly 20 years has sparked speculation and anticipation about its upcoming release. Will it adopt the innovative bed access seen in the Baja or the unique bed seats of the original Brat? While it's premature to draw conclusions, Subaru must address the truck's smaller size and limited bed capacity compared to rivals. Nevertheless, the new Subaru Brat is poised to make a mark, embodying the characteristics of a compact unibody truck, highly aerodynamic and fluid in design. Subaru vehicles have always excelled in off-road capabilities thanks to their all-wheel drive systems. However, with the growing demand for dedicated off-road versions in crossovers and pickups, the forthcoming Subaru Brat will follow suit. The company has responded to this trend by introducing off-road-focused trim levels like the Wilderness across its major models. These trims boast visual upgrades, off-road aids, and substantial protective features. Additionally, they benefit from unique suspension setups, lifts for enhanced ground clearance, improved approach and departure angles, and robust all-terrain tires. Advanced features such as the 180-degree front view monitor facilitate navigation through challenging terrain, positioning the Brat as a fitting addition to Subaru's adventure-oriented lineup. In terms of release date and pricing, Subaru plans to reintroduce its hybrid lineup post-2025, with conventional engine variants potentially arriving by late 2024 for the 2025 model year. Hybrid iterations may follow a year later, while fully electric models are expected in subsequent years. Maintaining the 2025 Subaru Brat's price around $23,000 poses a significant challenge, particularly given its smaller size compared to the Maverick. However, this pricing target appears more feasible for conventional models, with hybrids likely to be slightly pricier, and all electric versions potentially commanding a higher price. With that, we conclude today's discussion. Thank you for tuning in, and we eagerly anticipate our next encounter.